In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Today we are just outside of the town of Placentia, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Very near Argentia, where we are eventually going to catch the ferry and head towards Nova Scotia. But we have been in Newfoundland for almost three months now, and we are down to our last week. And there's a couple last adventures on Carrie's list that are in this area that I think we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and do some exploring and get those checked off the list. That boat right there, I'm going out on it. your sea legs here. No, no kidding, eh? It's a good thing I took my Dramamine. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Whitless Bay Ecological Reserve consists of four islands. Pee Pee Island, Great Island, Green Island, and Goal Island, which we will be visiting today. Here we will find North America's largest Atlantic puffin colony. More than 260,000 pairs nest here during late spring and summer. In addition, 620,000 pairs of storm petrels, along with thousands of black-legged kittiwakes and common mirrors. It's safe to say there are a lot of birds. Puffins will actually make burrows for each other and uh, for their chick. And the funny thing is, they are completely monogamous. They will have the same mate every year and come back to the exact same burrow every year of their lives. Literally love birds. So you're hearing lots of bird noises, but you're not hearing puffins, because puffins don't make much of a noise. They make a noise like a chainsaw starting up, like a but you had to be fairly close to them to hear it. So any of the birds you hear are seagulls and murres. One thing you'll notice about the puffins when they're flying is how much they have to beat those wings. Now, there's no soaring action going on, and that's because puffins are dual-purpose animals. They have to be able to swim as well as fly. They need to be aerodynamic and hydrodynamic so that they lost a bit of the length on their wings. 
And because of that, they need to beat their wings upwards of 200 times per minute just to stay afloat. And you notice um, when they uh, jump off the cliff and start flying, it takes them a good five or six seconds to actually get up in the air. They almost hit us on the boat here. birds generally spend most of the year at sea, only returning to land to breed and raise their young. Setting foot on any of these islands requires a scientific research or special access permit. Hey, hi, good boy. Okay, how was it? Anything exciting happen? Well, the whales weren't as active as they were at the beach, so we saw far more whale action at Vincent Beach. We went around Bird Island, thousands of puffins and really? all kinds of birds, and like, I don't know, 30 feet away. Nice. I, I took a million pictures. Well, maybe you got your puffin shot. I think it was worth the birds alone. And you saw the whale that came completely out of the water? I saw the splash. Oh. Because it was at the back of the boat. Of course, I was at the front. Uh, did anybody get on video? Oh, yeah. The whole boat, the whole top oh. chair erupted. And then it started waving its fin at us like it was saying goodbye. Oh, that's cool. That's a good <laughs> ending. And blue sky, it's just beautiful. I know. We haven't seen blue sky in I don't know how long. So I'm glad I did it. I knew I'd regret it if I didn't. Yeah, I'm glad you did it too. Just for the puffins alone, it right. was worth it. Excellent. I'm buddy.
at Cape St. Mary's Ecological Bird Reserve. I was at the visitor center and the lady said, I don't even want to talk to you. Just go now. She said, we've had 10 days of fog and it's clear. So I'm heading out without much knowledge. I'll check into that later. But I'm hoping to see gannets here. So I'm on the trail before the fog comes back in. My timing might be just perfect. It's beautiful out here. Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve is the most exhilarating and accessible seabird rookery in North America. Unlike Whitless Bay, where the birds can only be seen from a boat, at Cape St. Mary's, after a short one-ish mile hike, you will arrive at the most amazing viewpoint. Directly in front of you will be Bird Rock, towering 328 feet above the ocean floor. Oh, wow. The view is amazing. Trying to take my time on this trail. It's pretty rocky. I don't want to fall, especially carrying my big girl camera. Wow. This is awesome. I'm a happy girl. Oh, it gets even better. Look at this. <laughs> Here you will meet 30,000 gannets 20,000 black-legged kittiwakes, and 20,000 common mirrors, along with dozens of other feathered friends who happen to fly by. What a perfect evening. I cannot believe it. 
I'm out here all by myself. They left me unattended, sitting on the edge of this rock. And it is just freaking spectacular. Wow. Just imagine yourself sitting on the edge of a sheer cliff. Just 30 feet in front of you are thousands of birds. And if you look down, well, don't look down. It's 300 feet to the ocean floor. Newfoundland Tourism Board describes this perfectly. Cape St. Mary's is overflowing with perching, diving, and scrambling birds from edge to edge, melding together into an awesome, moving, breathing spectacle of color and sound. I've been here for three hours. The last hour I was here by myself. Nobody else came down. I mean, I couldn't have timed this more perfectly. The lady at the visitor center said they've had nothing but 10 days of fog. We arrived here. She said, go now. The fog burned off, the sun came out. And it took me two hours to realize that there were babies under most of these birds. What an amazing experience. This is the last thing I wanted to see before we left Newfoundland. And my trip is complete. And we have had the most amazing time. If you don't know, we celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary here. And I couldn't think of a better place to be. And all of this would not be possible without you all supporting us. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. I know Dave thanks you too. And Rudolph just gives you a lick. But this is our last adventure. We'll be taking the ferry here real shortly back to mainland. 
And I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as we have. And I hope we've inspired you to get out and just enjoy some of these beautiful areas, even if they're in your backyard. So signing off from Newfoundland. Next time we see you, we'll be on a ferry to the mainland. One last look. Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in Carrie from the future. So as a photographer, I have a couple of bucket list items that I want to photograph. One of these is the bears in Alaska and another one of them is birds in flight. I have tried several times. It's a tricky situation to get your shutter speed really fast, but not overexpose the photo. You sneak up on the bird and you got a matter of seconds before he flies off and there was your chance. But sitting here looking at bird rock with thousands of gannets flying around, I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to practice my birds in flight. Also, it's not an easy task because how do you focus on one bird when there's thousands of them? But I'm doing it, right? So I've got this gannet in my sight and I'm watching him and out of the corner of my eye, I see a very dark bird come flying in. Now, all the gannets are white, so I know this is different. So I quickly make the decision. I change. <clears throat> the bird's gone, just like that. I have no idea what it was. I think it's a hawk. And then I just continue about my time and I continue photographing the gannets. It wasn't until I got back to the van later that night and I started editing the photographs, I about fell off my chair. I photographed an eagle flying through this crowd of gannets and it is crystal clear. Here is the best photograph I think I have ever taken, but it's definitely the best bird photograph I have ever taken. What do you think? If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.